Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, you, teacher. How are you I'm, today? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Benjamin. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> I am <Good>. back. <laughs> okay, yes, I see that. You were absent on Thursday. Yeah, the last week I've been working. Okay. Oh, you're back. So that counts a lot. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. So it's July 20th, 2020. Welcome back. It's eight o'clock. So let's begin. How was your weekend? Oh, uh, <laughs> did you guys uh, have a nice weekend? Um, if we can say that, <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Um, for me, it um, was a hard weekend, and I've been working and the last week um, was uh, hard to me because I was shopped by a bee. <laughs> so a bee uh, stung you? Yeah. Okay. It's not shopped? Shopped? No, it's, it's sting. Ah. Picar, picar. Okay, sting. Yeah, okay. and let, let, let me write it on the because um, chop is destazar. Oh, okay. So sting means picar. So mosquitoes, nice. they land in your hand and they sting you. The same oh, okay. as, uh, uh, as um, bees. So, right. Okay, I understand. So new to learn. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, good. Um, and okay. it was very difficult for me because I am uh, allergic, right? Yep. To the steam bees. And I was two days, <laughs> um, no sé cómo se dice, hinchado? Swollen. Swollen. Let, let me write it on the on the on the in the chat. Swollen. You can also say inflammated. Oh, thanks. Swollen or inflammated. But oh, okay. swollen is more common. Okay. Thanks. Uh -huh. All right. And and that's and that's it. <laughs> that okay. was my weekend. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay, so um so for the ones that were present, do you guys remember what we spoke about on Thursday? What activities did we mention on Thursday? Do you remember last Thursday? I remember, hi teacher, I remember we talked about the future. Yes, we were talking about future. And as a matter of fact, today we officially discuss future from the grammatical point of view. So we were, what options do we have to talk about future tense? Will or going to. Will or going to. Do you know any other options to talk about future tense? How many tenses do we have in English? Ooh. 12. 12. 12 is correct. What are the tenses that we use for future? So we use will or going to, that is simple future. Uh, what are the other options? What if I tell you in one hour and a half, I will be having dinner. I will be having dinner. Which tense is that? The future continues. Future continues, very good. What if I tell you in one hour, we will have finished the class? Which tense is that? We will have finished the class. What's the name of that it, tense? Is the future perfect? 
Future perfect is correct. So when you talk about future events, you have simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. So you have four futures. So you have 12 tenses, four of them are for future. So, uh, but today we'll be talking about that. So yes, uh, we were talking about future events. Um, do you remember any other topic that we mentioned? Anybody? Mm -hmm. I remember. Sorry. Yes, Edward. I remember you you speak about the receipt. If you want to to make something, for for example, food or exactly. instructions. Yes. Yes, uh, we were discussing how to follow and prepare recipes. And for you to say first, then, after, next, finally, you use sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. So remember, the first one is always first. The last one is always finally. And then you have after, then, and next. Those three are synonyms. So you can switch them at any time that you wish because they are exactly the, the same thing. So how do you prepare a Maruchan soup? What is the first thing you do? First? Open the bowl. You open the, the cup, the bowl, whatever. The cup. Okay, next. You put the water. Exactly. Now, what kind of water do you use? Do you use hot water or hot the regular water. water you get from the tap? Hot water. Hot water. Okay, what is next? You need to wait. Uh, Three or five minutes, I don't know. Okay. So you need to wait three or five minutes so the soup itself cooks. What do you do next or after? Do you the put soup is any... ready to eat. Okay, it's ready to eat. <laughs> now, when you eat Maruchan, do you use, do you eat it alone or do you put cheese or tuna or something else? Yeah, yeah, I know. How do you eat a Maruchan soup? You put a lime. Okay. You can put cheese, cream. Jalapenos, different things. All right. So any questions or comments about last Thursday? We were talking about future tense and we were also um, discussing sequence adverbs. Do you have any questions about that? No? No, teacher. Okay. Let me... Write this here. Mm -hmm. And the name and save it. All right. So I'm going to assign you to work in pairs so you guys can talk about the different things you did on the weekend. So remember, every Monday we reinforce simple past tense by using it. So the first week we discussed the theory, but it is necessary that you guys put it into practice. So let me see, um, we got 12 people. I'm going to make six uh, pairs and here we go. Just talk about the different things you did on the weekend. Here we go.
Fíjate que cuando estoy haciendo la, la sesión, bueno, el internet... Okay. In my case, uh, I finish my work or oh, my weekend start in Saturday because I Saturday I didn't I didn't work. Okay. And in the Saturday in the morning. Your name. Uh -huh. uh, but it's different. Cook, uh, cupcake and cake. Maybe cake oh, okay. or the pastel. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. Um, in the same ways. Okay. I went to go to milk, milk out in the morning. After work every day. Sunday. The same time. I might work in the morning. And uh, it's easy. It, it, um, and an easier thing is it true yes i like that so you can learn more in that app uh, i try to eat uh, more healthy for me because wow. for my in in my weekend i only went to the super selectos and oh. I went to the work because I work all days. I only break and Sunday. Uh -huh. In my case, but I always, always and take care for me because it's very concern for me for the situation is the quarantine. And you, yeah, you and need to take care. Did you study in the university or do or do only study English in this moment? In this moment, only study English, but in two courses, I study in this, and I study in the course of the university. Oh, people uh, work uh, in is the best time for... Well, I, think, um, I didn't do anything uh, special. I think I only, on Saturday, I sell some tacos in my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yesterday, I didn't do nothing, but today, I went to the city for by. Gasolina. <laughs> Gasoline? Gasoline for uh, prevent, prevent Oh, resale. Resale. For resale. How much, is, how much is uh -huh. gasoline right now in Metapang? Uh, $2 with 55 cents. That's cheap. Yeah. Cheap. Yes, it's cheap. That's good. That's good. That's that's good business. You just have to be careful of, of where you store it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I are, know. are there any children uh, in your house, Rebecca? No. no. I mean, I, I am the little. <laughs> oh, okay. You're the, you're the little girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm the baby. She's the baby. <laughs> so they have She's to the be baby. careful with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Only series, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of series did you see? Yes. What kind? So, hello, teacher. Yeah. What kind of series did you see? She asked you. 
You say you watch series. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. What kind of series do you like to watch? Uh, series about, um, uh, how do you say science fiction? I don't remember. Science fiction. Science fiction. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. And... Mm, series about a little drama. <laughs> yeah, drama is good. I like drama. <laughs> but you just see series in Netflix. Yes, in Amazon Prime too. Ah. Oh. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Good. But now, at the hoggies, uh -huh. the hoggies at teacher. Mm. Yes, sir. What, uh, how, how we can say anuncio? Announcement. Announcement. Announcement ah. or advertising. The two are good. Ah, okay. Thanks. Uh-huh. Or commercials. All no, right. Commercial. We are, we are talking, we are talking about the, the announcement of hoggies. Okay. Do you remember? The, uh, uh-huh. Um, I'll, Chaotic, beautiful life. Okay. No, I don't <laughs> remember that commercial. Yeah. Uh, the, the the announcement say um, in Spanish, um, una vida caóticamente hermosa. Okay. Uh -huh. Así decía. <laughs> no, <laughs> Entonces, I, 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 I saw the... <laughs> Um, uh, I am talking with Noeli uh, of my children. About the commercial. Oh, for okay. Uh -huh. For children. <laughs> how old Benjamin. are your children, Benjamin? Two. But how old are they? Ah, uh, the, the first one have eight years old and the second one six years old. Okay, so the first one is eight and the second one is six. Yeah. All right, good. All right, you guys finished? Yeah, teacher. Yes. All right, let's go back. All right, welcome back. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation you may have? Is everything clear? Yeah, teacher. Okay. So, let me ask you. When you are not in the class, your English class, how do you practice your English? Um, I, when I'm not in English class, I still practice singing Good. and I still see videos um, in English in YouTube or in Facebook okay. and that's that's my practice. <laughs> good, good. So you know when you watch videos or, or, or television in English that's really good for your listening skills so that is good. Okay yeah. someone else wants to share what you guys do on uh, how you practice your English when you're not in class? Is it Benjamin the only one that practices outside the class? You have a nap. Okay, what can you practice in the app? The lay of Duolingo. The lay of Sonja, Bolton, the Sensei. You can practice um, some vocabulary. Uh-huh. You can do 
how to select and you how to talk. Okay, good. It's good that you mentioned the word vocabulary. Um, when you learn new words, this is a question for everybody. How do you practice with a new word? So let's say today you learn a new word. What do you do with that word? How do you apply it? How do you use it? In my case, I used to find the, the work in a Google Translate. Okay. And uh, okay, so you find the definition in, in, in Spanish. Okay. Now, how do you use and I it? In the, uh -huh. And I listen the work in English. Okay, so you listen for pronunciation. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now, so you guys, uh, so Lisette says, I find the translation, then I listen to pronunciation, and, and how do you use it? So you, you look for the translation, that's good. You check for pronunciation, that's really good. And what do you do after? How do you practice uh, with the new word? This is a question for everybody. What do you do with a new word? Do you guys? Uh -huh. I don't practice. Maybe this is my problem because sometimes I I saw a, a new word and okay. I I do the same of the set. I go to Google Translate and I I see the the mean or the pronunciation. But after that, I don't I do anything for to practice. In okay. some days, I I forget the word. I don't know if you can share with us some tips for to help learn more. Sure. Okay. That that's a very good question. Um, when you are learning, um new words there are different things you can do to to practice those uh, uh new words so you can um there are different things you can do like you classify each word according to the level of difficulty so you can use color pencils so let's say uh, if you classify how difficult or how easy the word is, you can use a particular color to give a, a, a meaning. So let's say um, if you think that the word is easy for you to remember, you can use color green because green, using the traffic light, green is what we use to keep going. Let's say the word is not difficult, it's not easy, you can use color yellow. If you feel that the war is definitely difficult for you because it's the first time you see it, you can color it with color red. That way, when you dedicate time to study the new vocabulary, your priority will be the ones with color red. I'm giving you the three colors of a traffic light because you know everybody knows the meaning of green, red, and yellow. But you can choose other colors like purple, orange, brown, any color that you want. So that is one, or something else that you can do, you can apply the new word and write sentence, like today you write a positive sentence. Tomorrow you write a negative sentence. Wednesday you write a question. Thursday you make a drawing with that word. So the idea is that the more you practice the new word, the easier you will remember it. So, or when you're applying it, when you're speaking or something, try to include it in your conversation. So those are three things that you can do to apply the new vocabulary. Okay. okay. Yeah, so classify it with colors. Is it easy? Is it difficult? Writing a sentence every day, today positive, tomorrow negative, Wednesday I'll make a question. You can make a drawing, but the best thing to do is use it whenever you speak. Okay, um, any comments about what to do with the new vocabulary? Um, yes, teacher, Benjamin. Uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes it's easy to 
um, associate the words with um, with the actions of our ordinary life um, or, the, or our actions in the day, um, like the new word to me, um, like a thing. <laughs> I uh -huh. associate I associate that word like uh, the singer sing. Good, very good. Right. <laughs> exactly. And, and I I know that like uh, for my condition I um I can forget that word right now. <laughs> exactly. So. Uh -huh. the, do you remember what's his name oh i forgot his name but he had a, ma a famous theory that whenever you're in a learning process do you guys see the chat the, the chat from the platform uh i wrote known to unknown so what benjamin is doing he's applying a connection of sting the singer to the new to the new word so when next time that I ask him, how do you say picada from an insect? All he will do is think about Sting the singer that is already here and he will <laughs> make a connection with the new word and it works. Right. And it works. Right. So uh, do you remember this word? I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys before. Do you see the word else. that I wrote? Okay, else. When I yeah. was in the States, you know, like I was, I was trying to learn new words every day. So else is a very common word that everybody should know. So I remembered that I had a classmate in one of my classes. Her name was Elsa. So for me to remember how to say que mas, I will remember my classmate that her name was Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> Elsa. And I said, okay, it's not Elsa, it's else. So I was making a connection similar to what Benjamin is mentioning. He's mentioning Sting, a famous singer, with the new word. So making connections with what you already have here really works when you want to acquire new vocabulary. Okay, anybody uh, else? Uh -huh. Yes, Benjamin. And I think that we, we can search uh, the new words in the uh, physical dictionary uh -huh. and, and not um and not up like google translate uh, i searched the 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 new word in google translate and i found shop it okay right, right? <laughs> and, and that and that's why and that was my um my new sin significance to that word but now that you but you say me the the sin the really significant. Uh -huh. um, I I correct that and good, <laughs> good. And that is that's a very good observation that you cannot trust the translator a hundred percent. Why? Because yeah. sometimes it gives you a word that is not the one you're looking for, or sometimes they give you Spanish words that we don't use in El Salvador, and that gives you extra work because they give you a word from Spain, from Argentina that we don't use, and then you have to look for the meaning. So that makes everything more complicated. So it is a good idea that if you have a physical dictionary, mm -hmm. use it. It's more reliable. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay, so okay. let me ask you, what are the five things you need to know about a new word? So let's say the word sting. I wrote in the okay. chat, sting. What are the five things you need to know about that word? Um, this, uh, maybe, maybe will be the um, significant. Okay, the meaning, very what? good. The meaning, okay. Okay. Um, the writing. Okay, uh, when we talk about uh, language, we say it spelling. The spelling, oh, okay. okay. Now spelling, nice. spelling comes in two forms. What are the two forms of spelling class? So imagine that this class is in a, in a classroom. 
I'm seeing you face to face. And you say, Francisco, how do you spell sting? What do you think is going to be my reaction? What am I going to do? Say letter by letter. Right, so I grab the marker, I go to the board and I write sting, S-T-I-N-G. So I write, I said, okay, thank you, Francisco. Now imagine right now, or if, I'm, if I call you tomorrow and I said, uh, how do you spell your last name? So there is no way that I can see your screen if it's a normal call. What will you do? How will you spell your last name? So how do you spell your last name? If I ask you right now, what would you do? In my case, it's easy. Okay, -I -R -A. how do you spell? M-I-R-A. Okay, good. Did she write Mira? Yeah. Did she write it? No, she didn't. What yeah. did she do? It's Bill. Okay, how did she do it? So let me write it. Spelling comes written and spoken. So once again, if we are in a classroom and you ask your teacher, your facilitator, he or she is going to write it on the board. If, if, if we do it like right now, Lisette says M-I-R-A. She didn't write it, she spoke it. So meaning, spelling, what else is necessary to know? Pronunciation. Very good, pronunciation. Pronunciation. What else? Meaning, spelling, pronunciation, what else do we have? How is it listening? What is it? Rebecca? Listening. Okay, listening, um, it's related with pronunciation. So if I pronounce, it is necessary that you understand what I said. What are the other two? Rebecca, you wanted to say something? Or Claudia? How to? Say to use. How to use it. Exactly how to use it. And what is the last one? Any ideas? How many parts does grammar have? Grammar is divided in how many parts? Do you remember? Uh, geography. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is related with spelling. Okay. How many parts does grammar have? Look at the chat. I don't know. Eight. Eight. Eight, Eight parts. Okay. So what do you think is number five? The, the fifth thing you need to know about a new word. Oh. Mm-hmm. If I write the word sting, is that a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? What is it? Oh. Um, what kind of word it is. Okay. What kind of word it, it is. So can you be a little bit more specifically said? Can somebody if, help me say it? Uh -huh. if, that word, if that word was uh, adverb or verb, uh -huh. um, I don't know, like um, classify? Okay, what do you classify? Um, the word um, okay. to me was uh, verb. Okay, so... In, in terms of the language, you call it part of speech or oh. part of grammar. So sting 
is one of today's new words. So you have to ask yourself, why is thing? Oh, because he wanted to say, una vez lo picó. So picar is a verb. So you need to know the power of speech. Okay? Oh, nice. So you have meaning, spelling. Spelling, pronunciation. Uh-huh. How to use it. Uh-huh. And power of speech. Exactly. And power of speech. Let me, let me see this here. Uh, share screen. Let me share this document with you guys. So I will take a picture or you can take a screenshot if you wish. Let me. So we have five things. Which three do you think are the most important? Which three do you think are the most important from those five? Um, Which one are uh, priority? Um, the meaning. Meaning is necessary. Me. Uh-huh. What else? How to use it. Yes, how to use it. Very good. One more. The pronunciation. Good. So meaning, pronunciation, and how to use it, those three have to be your priority. Now, spelling is important. The power of grammar is important. But in a real conversation, um, you apply meaning, pronunciation, and how to use it. Those are the three that are that should be your priority. Any questions so far? No. No? Okay, so let's go to today's topic from, um, now where is this here? Okay, new share. Okay, do you see the screen? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay, what is the topic that you see there? Future, Future with going to and will. Okay, now what I mentioned the other class, our last class, is that in a real conversation, you can use going to, you can use will, and nobody's going to tell you, no, it's not will, it's going to. Or nobody's going to tell you, no, it's not going to, it's will. However, grammar has a theory. So I need a volunteer to read the, the part on the left. This part here, blue letters. Volunteer, please. Use be going to more bear for plants. You have decided one. Good. On. So, yes, you've decided on. Thank you. So, you use going to plus verbs for plans. What is a plan? Something that you have in your agenda. What are you going to do when the emergency is over? What are you going to do for your birthday? What are you going to do with that extra money? What are you going to do now that you have a, a new job, a better job? So things that you already planned, you use going to, grammatically speaking. I need another volunteer to read the examples here. What are you going to do? Okay, me teacher. Um, Please. What are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. Mm -hmm. we're, we're going to go surfing every day. Okay. I am not going to do anything special. All right, good, thank you. So what are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. So that is already in your agenda. We're going to go surfing every day. So you say next vacation, we're going to go to the beach and we're going to surf. Or if you don't have any plans and you just want to rest, you said, I'm not going to do anything special. Now, 
the observation that I just made. What are you going to do? Oh, we will relax at the beach. We will go surfing every day and I won't do anything special. So in a real life conversation, you could say it like that. Now, I need another volunteer to read Will, please. Will, not fair. Uh -huh. plans yes. For you make a decision. Okay. Can you read the examples, please? Somebody, anybody? Me? Yes, please. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. Thank you. So as the introduction says, possible, possible plans. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess. What is the synonym of the word guess? Um, I, I think. Congo. Oh, I think. Uh-huh. So when you say, I guess, maybe you are 50% sure, and maybe the other 50 will depend on, on, on something else. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. Maybe indicates just a possibility. And the third one says, I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I think I'll go camping is not 100% sure. And then I probably won't go anywhere. So once again, if you're talking about plans that you already have, grammatically speaking, you should say going to. If it's a possibility or if it's a decision you made at the time of speaking, you will use will. Any questions about this theory? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Okay, yes, someone wanted to say something? Teacher, uh, yes. is necessary uh, use another uh, word before use the will or is not necessary? Okay. For example, I'm not sure, maybe. Okay, and Grammat gra that's a very good question. Grammatically speaking, you should use a word that indicates that what you're about to say is only a possibility, grammatically speaking. Because um, grammar says that if it's only a possibility, you should say will. So you should say, um, you should say a, a word that indicates that it's only a possibility. I guess, maybe, I think, probably. So um, if you're taking an exam and they are evaluating this topic in particular, you should say something like maybe, probably, I don't know, something that indicates that you're not 100% sure. Okay, thank you. All right, good. Um, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me share this right here. I think this is the one. Okay. Do you see the, the exercises? Yes. Yes. Okay. So once again, I will ask you to work in pairs. I will change partners. I will put you to work with someone else. And I want you to discuss and analyze what the best answer is for each question. So for example, number one, have you got any plans for tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to visit my grandparents. Or is it better if I say, yes, I will visit my grandparents. Which one is better? I'm going. going to. Okay, so that's exactly what you guys will do. So let me assign um, exchange with her. 
Benjamin will work change with her. And Zyra is going to change here. All right, so ready? Let's do this. Which one are you doing? Uh, Rebecca, here with me, his queen. Oh, okay. Clara? Teacher, we don't have the picture. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I forgot. Thank you, teacher. Sure, let me send it to you guys. I completely forgot. It's right there. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Yeah. Sorry that I forgot. No problem. <laughs> All right. Okay. What? It's a, I think it's a real poem. Could be she's going to travel to Spain. I, I think in, the, in this one is uh, she's going to travel to Spain. Uh huh. Okay. She's going to travel. Uh, we are thirsty. Thirsty. Wait here. I'm going to. Yeah. I decide. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, because they don't have a plan. It's in the moment, the decision. Yeah, it's a decision. And meat, meat or fish is decision too. I am going to have some fish, please. Yeah. I think, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
Maybe it's going to. I'm going to have some fish. Okay, going to. Yes, because the people is sure that he wants fish. Mm -hmm. Number five, what do you want the keys for? I going to. I going. Mm. Going to close the door. Number six. It should. I. Um. I'm going to. Okay. Uh, let me see. We have. We have other uh, partner, <laughs> Gabriela. I don't know if she are. <laughs> no problem. Ah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> you are hearing. <laughs> you are hearing us. Okay. Okay. But nice. I, I we hear. Okay. She agrees <laughs> with you with everything you say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes, don't worry. <laughs> okay. What do you think about about the number four? Meat or fish? Go finish. Yeah. Finish, teacher. All right, may I have a volunteer for number two? Why is she learning Spanish? Uh huh. Which one is correct? She will go in to travel to Spain. Okay, so if, if you're learning English now, it's because you have plans for the future. So is it will or going to? Will or going to? Class? Will. Okay, let's put will. We are thirsty. Wait here. Now remember something. When you're talking about future events, when you're talking about future events and the action that you're mentioning is, is something that you decide at the time of speaking, you say will. So we're thirsty. Wait here. I. Going to or will? Going to. Okay, going to. Meat or fish? I will have some fish. Okay, how do you pronounce I will in the contracted form? Uh, I'll. Uh, I'll. Okay, what about number five? What do you want the keys for? I'm going to. Going to okay. <laughs> Number six. If you don't take a taxi, you going to. You will maybe. No. You um. You will. If you don't you take will. a taxi, you you don't will. Mm, not exactly. No. Okay, let, let me, um, 
Okay, where's the screen? No. Okay, let, let's. Okay. If you don't take a taxi, you won't or you aren't going to. Esa era. Solo sabía. Which one is it? Want or aren't yeah. going to? Yeah. You want. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you want uh, so many oranges? Why do you want so many oranges? I'm going to. I... Okay. I am going to. Uh -huh. Okay. Number eight. Oh, I haven't got enough money to pay. Don't worry. I going to I, Okay, I'll or going to? Yeah. I'm going. Uh, so remember, you use will when it's a possibility or when you're making decisions at the time you're speaking. I I I lend you some. Okay, let's leave that one. We need one more player. Okay, we need one more player. Will you play? Will. Okay. Will Number you 10. play with us tomorrow? Why are you switching on the TV? Why are you switching? I'm going to watch a movie. Okay, I'm going to, I'm watch, going a to watch a match. And the first one we said, um, going to so let's check the answers to see if your answers were good check 80 yeah so which ones we do you think play. are not good okay uh will so once again if you're learning another language it's because you already going have plans to. okay and we are thirsty Wait here. I will. I will get you some water. So you arrive to your house, you're very tired, and uh, and they tell you, look, I'll get you some water. Oh. Any questions? Any questions here? About no, this exercise? No? no question. Okay, so once again, thank you very much. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, teacher. Okay, Have good a good night. night. Thanks. All right. Good night. Get good some night, teachers. Good night, good night. night everyone. See you later. Hello. Wow, I'm going to